In this era of grave spiritual crisis, it is not enough to simply know about your Catholic faith. That is why we need a Catholic toolbox to equip us with the practical skills necessary to live our Catholic faith, to reach our ultimate goal, which is heaven for all eternity. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Join us every Tuesday night at 8pm for the Catholic Toolbox as we hand you the tools to go forth, live the faith and change our modern world today. Live on The Voice of Charity. And welcome back to another week on the Catholic Toolbox, the art of practical Catholicism. I'm your host and founder, George Manassa, here as we equip you with practical tools to live your faith in our modern world of today. And it's a very, very dark world at the moment, especially in Australia. It's a very, very, uh, it's been a very tough few days for our country. And in the midst of this, you know, we pray for all those who've been affected uh, by these two incidents that have happened in our country and uh, many prayers and we need to follow the example of our Lord and continue to do that. But in the midst of this, we need to find the positive and in the positive, we can find rap music and Christian music. So welcome back. Hey, hi, George. Andre, how are you? Very well, very well. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. It's great to have you back here in studio. Um, it's Andre, the founder of Catholic Apparel and uh, the tremendous work that you do. And I'm wearing my Catholic apparel. Thanks, George. Some of my collection. And, Looks good. Uh, you have the tremendous uh, One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I have that shirt as well. It's a good one, isn't what, it? What I love about it is the fact that you list every single Pope on the back all the way up to the current Pope. The Apostolic from Peter. Succession. The Apostolic Succession. That was... That, that, that really brought me back to my faith and gave me assurance of my faith, the Apostolic Succession. The fact that we have that unbroken line from Jesus Christ and we have that assurance in our faith. Exactly right. It's amazing. And uh, when you visually see that, yeah. it takes it to another level. That's, that's absolutely tremendous. Mm. And we're here to bring positivity. There's been a lot of negativity over the past few days. I think Australia has been shaken. And in the midst of that, we need to be positive and we need to heed our Lord's uh, call so nothing can bring uh, more positivity to so many people's lives than beautiful music and good music. And you've produced some tremendous music. I was just having a look at the album before and it's just fantastic. I wasn't actually aware that it got to the stage of the album, but that's what we want to talk about today. Yeah, so um, obviously you guys know me for Catholic Apparel, uh, but uh, during my teenage years growing up, I used to listen to a lot of rap music. Yeah. Uh, my brother, my older brother, uh, Joe, he uh, was a rapper himself. Like he just rapped on the school bus, you know, in the school playground, at home, um, you know, assemblies. He'd just go up and rap and things like yeah, that. He yeah. was just known as that rapper. And so as a younger brother, you naturally look, look up to your older brother and you yeah. just kind of copy him. And that's where I kind of got it from. Um, and uh, as you also know as well, when I went through the dramas um, with my leg, yeah. um, uh, you know, when I had the incident, one of the things that helped me get out of this was writing. So um, I remember wow. having a guest, yeah, I had a guest um, or a visitor who came in to, to visit me. She said, Andre, why don't you write songs? I'm like, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like sitting upset in my bed and, and then it kind of came so to me. So your brother's like, rapping and then now you're writing songs. So, yeah, so... Essentially, like I, I listen to guys like, so I'm old school, listen to guys like Grandmaster Flash, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, Young MC and, you know, Principal's Office and, you know, all that type of music. Anyway, yeah. you'll probably know. Yeah. Um, anyway, and that, I, I really love that style. I, yeah. I used to listen to yeah, it. It's school. great. Um, you know, we all got into the two parks and all that as well, listening to two that. Two was big, especially when I was growing yeah. up. So, you know, we were listening to 
like pretty explicit music. Yeah. You know, and I'm, yeah. I didn't think twice. And anyway, as I said, when I got through this, I was kind of rapping about the party scene and things like that. Yeah. Um, and then when this happened, everything changed. Yeah. And then I started to rap a bit more about God. And wow. everything just turned around for me. So it was all the party scene, trying to be a gangster. Yeah, like sort of. Style. I didn't. Like, I kind of. I didn't really swear in my rapping or anything like that. I didn't. Okay, do that's that. good. Yeah, thank yeah. God. I didn't do any of that. But you know, talking about you know, saw this girl, saw that girl. You know, yeah. met this girl and things like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, and so yeah, that changed. The demeanor changed. My focus was now God. Mm. God got me through this because now I'm. I'm living this. Yeah. I'm going through a drama in my life and... And at what age was this? I was 21. 21, okay. Yeah, 21. So, yeah. like, in the height. Clubbing. Yeah. You know, I was at the club when this happened. My accident. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Wow. So, I still love Michael Jackson. Yeah, all that. Anyway, so because I had this love... For, for, those, for those who... Um, uh, do you want to speak a little bit about the accident? For those who I'm don't pretty know. sure people uh, are aware, but if you don't, um, you know, when I was 21, I was uh, I went out with some friends mm -hmm. at a nightclub, um, and we were just having a good time. Yeah. And before I knew it, a mate of mine um, was involved in an all-in brawl. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so he was caught in the middle of about 10 or 15 yeah. guys. Uh, who were just belting the crap out of him. Mm -hmm. And he was a strong guy. Yeah. He was very, very strong, but I really thought, like, he had no chance. Yeah. And so I kind of just jumped in without thinking to try and defuse the situation, mm, yeah. just to kind of pull him out and to break it up. But as soon as I got in the middle, it all changed. Mm -hmm. um, and so now I was the one in the middle of that all-in brawl. Yeah. Um, security guards quickly wrapped the situation up by pushing us outside. Yeah. And it happened so quickly, and before I knew it, I heard a gunshot. I didn't know it was a gunshot. I thought it was a firecracker. Yeah. And then I heard the bang a second time, and yeah. then uh, I realised that I'd been shot um, behind my left knee in the nerve vein and artery. Wow. Yeah, so it was a pretty serious wow. thing. So yeah. And, you know, God saved me. Our Lady saved me. Um, I was supposed to die that night, there's no doubt about it, um, but Our Lady intervened, she jumped in, she saved me. Um, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God, thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. And so. And that was that, was that uh, epiphany, moment the epiphany. of realisation. But, like you were saying at the start of, the, um, of today's episode, right, sometimes we can be negative and yeah. focus on all the negative things in our lives. And that's where I was mm -hmm. at that time. I was yeah. thinking of all the negative things. And as soon as I decided to you say, you what, it is what it is, and focus on God, focus on smiling, focus on other people around you, not stop focusing on yourself. And then all of a sudden, everyone started lifting around me, you know? And I'm like, man, how good is this, you know? And I started to believe. When I say believe, I mean... Saying you have the faith is one thing, but actually living the faith is another. Yeah, it's a whole so, yeah. other thing. Yeah. So I just kind of used my writing and it got me in deeper. Wow. So, yeah. so at the age of 21, you started to write songs. I did, yeah. So, so you I had started. a reversion at that point in time. Correct. You came back to your faith. You yeah. started to uh, come closer to our Lord. And then finally, you, you saw this gift that you had. You had the, your brother was rapping and um, you found that gift that, and that mm. talent that God gave yeah. you. Yeah, so I yeah. had like a bedroom studio. Yeah. Um, you know, I got my, <laughs> my, my computer and my, you know, got a yeah. microphone. I was at, we were even rapping through like um, uh, headphones at one stage. So we used wow. the headphones as the microphone. It was, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was like a one time rapping Because you didn't have microphones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so in the end, I ended up getting a little bit of a, a setup. <laughs> 
wasn't anything major. So I did that, and one of the, the biggest raps, or the most important raps that I rapped in my life, was none other than the Litany of the Virgin Mary. Wow. Yeah. And so, uh, to everyone who doesn't know what the Litany of Drek and our viewers know what the Litany is, I think most people do, everyone but, knows that, yeah. but you can simply Google the Litany of the Virgin Mary, and you can find that there and uh, read through the whole Litany. Mm. Uh, what it is. Yeah, and so yeah. at the conclusion of the rosary, we were meant to say the litany, pray the litany. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, and, and you go through that and you, you call on Mary. And she's been given so many titles yeah. by the church. Um, you know, wisdom. And I kind of thought, man, I could do something with that. Like the first half is the litany and the second half is something that describes what they're trying to portray. Yeah. And so I started writing it and it just started flying so beautifully. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I know the litany off by heart. You know? Because I know only because I can rap it now. And what, what, did the rapping help you to memorize it? That's right. Yeah. Just like with any music, the music helps you to memorize it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where I just thought to myself, we're all listening to music. Yeah. Why can't we listen to good music? Yeah, of course. Okay. And when I say good music, I mean good Catholic music. Because the Protestants have taken over the music scene. You know, yeah, like big time. Is it 103.5? Uh, 103.5. Well, yeah. like, it's mainly Protestant. It's, yeah. mainly, it's mainly a Protestant show, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, they, they, you know, they have aspects of Catholicism in yeah. there. Um, and it's actually quite a good radio to listen to. It's very wholesome. You have yes. good music. For those, for those who know their faith yeah. and they can cherry pick, yeah. you know, and just say, I, I like that bit, I like that bit, you know, yeah. then it's a beautiful thing. But even for the music, yeah, exactly. Especially, you know, you have good music, good selection. Yeah, it's it's and it's family friendly mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, as much as, I mean, to, to everyone's judgment, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, and no, 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 but it is, it is. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Yeah, and and so yeah. So, anyway, so I just started thinking, wow, how good is this? Right, I can I can kind of write some songs, and it just one thing led to another. Yeah, you know, and then I I had titles like Litany of the Virgin Mary. Um, dear God, uh, conversation with God, um, you know, all these types of tracks started coming in and appearing. Um, everything's going to be all right. Um, you know, tracks like that. And I just, it was just flowing. And the beautiful thing about it is whatever my emotion was, it got captured in that moment. Wow. So if I record it and I'm feeling it like it's, I'm basically praying. Yeah. I'm praying. But singing it. What's that quote that that um that they say? If you sing, it's like praying twice. Yeah, yeah. That that if you sing, it's like pray. Yeah, it it is like yes. praying twice. Yeah. I don't know who who yeah. said that. So like when we sing our yam Allah, for example. Yeah. Right. We don't realize the power in us singing that. That's why we feel so emotional when we actually start singing that. It just like if you say it. Okay, it, it's nice, mm. but when you're singing it, especially when someone's got a beautiful voice singing it, yeah. Oh wow, amazing, amazing. What's what's uh, a good way to say it is that there's special graces yeah. in singing a prayer. You're receiving special grace mm. uh, in singing something because of the effort that you're putting in to make it beautiful, and God is the source of all beauty. Exactly, and, and even the beauty. Maronites, we sing the litany. Yeah. Kiria Laison Christ. You know, I won't yeah. sing it now, boy. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so, and when they sing it, it's just amazing. The Daraili Ajlina. You know, and then you see the, um, the older generation singing it and how they're getting involved. And as a kid, even if I didn't know the words, I'd look at them and I'd just be so inspired by it. Yeah, yeah. You know? The room's full, especially during May. It's, it's going to be May soon. Yeah, approaching the month of Our Lady. The month of Our it Lady. The month of Our Lady coming up. And it's so beautiful. And um, if any of your viewers have a rosary at their house, encourage your mum and dad to sing the litany in Arabic and just watch them. 
and you'll see how beautiful it is yeah, and you'll yeah. just be so encouraged. I, I do recall growing up yeah. and having them sing that yeah. litany. I yes. do remember yeah. uh, the whole, uh, the sequence of the tune, how uh, they uh, sang it. Yeah, and like, pray for us. Yes. Like, and it's just, and you're learning in Arabic and yeah. it's just so cool. Yeah, yeah it's so yeah. cool. I mean, you can really memorize prayers, like we said before, just by singing something. When you sing it, uh, you know, even with a lot of the Latin prayers, the way I memorized it was through s singing it and then you memorize the whole prayer. Yeah. Like the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Ave Maria. It's just through the, the music, something sticks in your memory <laughs> when, you, when you hear the sound. Amazing. It's, Amazing. It, it, it's fantastic. And, and you just have to look at the, uh, the worldly music. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And... When we sing in the worldly music or like the, the rap music or whatever, and we're, we're singing it word for word, but we're not realizing what we're saying. And so now I am so strict with that at home. I've yeah. got young kids mm -hmm. and I'm like, don't listen to that music. And they don't. They pretty much, we listen pretty much all the way through. It's podcasts. So, you know, we're playing... I have a lot of uh, Protestant music, to be honest, like pro Protestant rap music. There's a lot of Catholic artists now coming through. Yeah. Really good. But it's all good. Even the yeah. Protestant stuff, the yeah, yeah. song stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, my favorite one's uh, uh, Our God, who's an uh, awesome God who reigns. Yes. Or Matt Mayha. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, Lord, I need you. Yeah. That's a beautiful one. Far out. They've produced some beautiful music. Yeah. But Matt, Matt, Matt Mayha is Catholic. Yeah. Um, but. It doesn't sound Catholic, you know, yeah, like when he yeah. sings, it's like that Protestant feel yeah, about it. Yeah, um, but it's a lot better yeah, than yeah, yeah. other things. You'd rather be listening to that. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's and so fantastic. if we're driving, you know, we'll listen to that music. And like I said, there's a few Catholic artists coming through we listen to. Um, and now my kids are even into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so like, you've got the family into yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and so anyway, uh, when was it? Last year, maybe two, no, probably about two years ago. Yeah. So I had this thing in my mind that I had to make a beat, right? <laughs> so like when I was listening to music back in the day, yeah. I'd say, wow, man, how did they make that beat? I wish I knew how to play the piano. I wish I knew how to, you know, get beats going. And I had no idea. It's right? all about a Lebanese drum beat. Not just the Lebanese drum beat, but yeah. Beatboxing? <laughs> yeah, beatboxing. Oh, yeah. I heard you can beatbox. Is that true? No, I, I can't. Not Come that. on, man. No, you, I can't. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. No, I can't do it. It's a, <laughs> okay. But you take me back to my childhood. Uh, yeah. We all tried to beatbox yeah. you know, in primary, yeah, yeah, in that's early right. high school. Yeah, that's it was right. a big yeah. thing. We all, we all did it. Yeah. Anyway, and then, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, so what I used to do, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the songs that I used to make back in the 90s, Oh, it was a long time ago, yeah? Mm, yeah. Um, or even in the 2000s. I'd love a song that, like a, a song that got released, that's number five or number 10, a top yeah, 10 or whatever. Yeah. I love that song. And I'd get the instrumental to it. Okay. Yeah, so I'd download the instrumental. Yeah, okay. So the instrumental obviously is the song without them singing over the top. Yeah. And I'd rap over the top of the instrumental. So any instrumental I like, I find I'm like, yes, I found the instrumental, and I'd rap over it. Wow. And some of the raps were cool. But I could never do anything with it. I can't load it up onto YouTube because I'll take it off in a second. <laughs> you know, so I just listened to it myself. And so I still carried this stigma, man. Like, it was like a stigma. It's like, man, I, I could never do this. Until one day, someone told me, do you know you can buy beats? I'm like, Buy beats? I didn't, never thought of that, man. <laughs> what year yeah. did they ask you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what year was that? This was recently, in the last, you know, four or five years. You can buy and beats. I, and everyone's telling me, Andre, you're too old to rap. I'm like, man, I know, but, you know, I love doing it, you know. No, it's never too old. Yeah. You're I never too old too to old. do anything. Anyway. You're never too old. Anyway, can you see the white hairs coming through the... Anyway. It's no, I funny. can't see him. Oh, you can't. Can't okay. see him at all. Anyway, so <laughs> this, this father... Yeah. of three um rapping all right yeah. anyway and and so they go you can buy these beats i'm like yeah. man how cool is that and so like by the way i don't recommend kids going on on this like it's called 
beat stars, I think. Anyway. Yeah. I don't recommend kids going on there because there are some, um, you know, it's it's not a nice... Uh, maybe uh, maybe seek yeah. parental guidance Probably, and yeah. guidance, whoever, if you want to go anyway, there. Anyway, they, they just it's throw... It's a great place yeah. to, anyway. to get beats, yeah. Um, and I'm like, wow, how good is this, right? And then I just started looking for for songs. And I'm like, wow, this sounds good. And I can buy it. I'm like, how good is that? And you get a license. Yeah. And you can play it, you know, 5,000 times or 10,000 times. Yeah. It's yeah. yours. And you can have a video clip and you can do yeah. this and you can yeah. do that. And I'm like, this is, this is Christmas and Easter all at once, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. And... I'm like, so what wow. did you do with those beats? So, so did you find a beat that you like? And so like, my wife's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm in the office. What are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just looking for beats. And then you've been there for a couple of hours. I'm like, oh no, I'm just trying to find the right beat. <laughs> what did your wife think? <laughs> it's, not, it's working, I don't know. Anyway. And I, you know, I okay. finally got through it. Looking for beats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great thing to say. Anyway, and so um, I, found, I found a couple. Yeah. And I said to my wife, I go, man, you're going to hate this. She goes, what is it? I go, I want to do an album. She goes, what? I'm like, yeah, she goes, do it. I'm like, you sure? She goes, yeah, do it. Get out of your system. I go, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm like, sweet, man. So I'm like, I'm going to do an album. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, how easy is this? I just find the beat. I hear it. Oh, how awesome is that? I buy it. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, 30 bucks USD or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a lot. Yeah, 50 bucks Australian. 50 bucks Aussie. But then you still got to master it as well, so you got yeah. to pay for a producer and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway. But you got your beat. Long story short, yeah. the hardest bit of my jigsaw puzzle was the beat. <laughs> <laughs> I finally found it, and I'm like a baby in a in a you know in a toy store. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, how good is this? I'm like, I know exactly what to write for this. And so bang, you get on there, download it, and I'm like writing my lyrics in. I swear, in like four hours, four or five hours. I'll, it will wow. just flow. I'd, yeah. I'd write it so quickly. I'm like, done. I've got a beat. I've got, a, I've got lyrics. Now I just rap it. So I've got, went and bought a, um, a microphone and I bought one of those, um, uh, it's like foam. Yeah, the, the, the sound uh, yeah, proofing. Yeah, exactly. The sound yeah. Uh, it, it just... Absorbs the sound so it just exactly. takes away the lecker, exactly. uh, the it's echoes. Like studio. You know, and you've got headphones and whatever. And yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I pulled out the really old headphones. You got the tools. Got everything going. I'm like, man, that's it. Let's do this. And mind you, I'm in a household with three kids, <laughs> and they're going off. They're watching. They're doing this, and I'm like, well, put your voice down. And this is just amazing. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't care. That's the fun of it. And I'm yeah. like, who am I? I'm not anyone, man. I mean, I'm just it's having great. fun. It's great. Your wife, you know, your wife knows best. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, told you to get it out of your system. <laughs> exactly. You know, I'm sure Catholic Apparel was a great success. Yes. You know, to get out of your system. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And so, like... <laughs> How bad could it be, yeah. you know, to try this... Uh, yeah, exactly. ...beats and, uh, and rapping? So now, I've got the beat. I've got the lyrics. I'm singing it and, like... I'm I'm pretty good at rapping. Like I'm I'm you know I'm not going to lie. I, you know I I yeah. think I have a talent in, yeah. in doing that. And so it was very very easy for me to get the rap out one or two tries. Yeah. Maybe three tries at most. Okay. So within but half an hour. The, but you wrote the lyrics. First. Wrote the lyrics. Yeah, that, that took me about did four you do five that hours. First. Yeah, I'll do that first. Okay, so you have the words and everything, and I, then I do that first. You have you find the beat. Find the and then that's this is where the creativity needs to be put exactly together. yeah so so I'm rapping I'm like yeah this sounds good okay let's go record bang record start recording done uh, you know and then I start playing around the volumes or whatever yeah and get there I'm yeah. like man this sounds good this sounds all right this sounds good and the good thing about beats as well is is like you can get actual um, songs where people have already sung the chorus. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, man, how good is that? Like, it's, I don't even have to find anyone. But who wants to get involved? My kids. Okay. How good is that, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. I loved it. And so my, my son, Peter, he came up with a song. Yeah. And it never made the first album. <laughs> he, was, he was not happy with me. Because <laughs> I'd already chosen and I'm like, 
it didn't make it. Yeah. And but, so, you got, but you got the family involved. I got the family that, involved. That's what's beautiful that you... Yeah. And I know we were speaking involved. before about, uh, in our previous episode, mm. you, you, and this stuck with me, that, that you said about an apostolate, starting an apostolate or doing anything or any kind of ministry or any kind of initiative with the faith, get your family involved. Yeah. So it's not just about you doing it. That's right. And Catholic power at the end of the day was for my family, first and foremost, for my family. Because it's about witnessing, them witnessing us live our faith. Yeah. Okay? And so the fact that it ended up, being going, ended up going online and ended up going into a store was an extension of the our... family, what naturally was formed. That's exactly right. That's beautiful. There, and, and not only that, don't do something if it's not going to fix um, a problem. Exactly. Okay? Don't just do it because, oh, I want to do it. Find the problem. What's the problem? The problem for me was the secular world was beating us down. Okay? It was beating us down. Especially with our clothing. With our, not just with our clothing, but just with everything. You know, where, where it, be it um, you know, the marriage debate being the abortion debate, whatever it may be, you know, we needed a smarter way to show who we are. And that was the problem for me. Yeah. We needed to stand up. We needed to do something. And so that's why Catholic Apparel was a success. Because I didn't force it. Yeah. It was a breach. Yeah, it was a breach. And that was kind of like stepping into that breach and saying, I'm doing it. Yeah. I didn't know how to design clothes and do yeah. all that. I had no, five boys at home. You know, like last so thing I think about. Organic growth. It, 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 yeah. you, you li you're a living Catholic apparel. That's right. You, you, you start it for your family and then, as you said, that bridge. That's right. It happened organically. Same thing with the music. Yes. Okay? There's a problem. We're listening to music out there that is cursing, that is talking about girls, doing stuff with girls, whatever it may be. You know, it's just not good. If you just stop and actually look at the lyrics. Bro, even now. Even now, yeah. go to an 18th birthday, go to a 21st birthday and just listen to the music they're playing. And they all know the words. It's like we're being hypnotized by Satan. I swear. It, it's, it's so bad. It's scary. It's actually scary. And these are churchgoers. We're going to church on Sunday. We're saying the Apostles' Creed. We're singing the hymns at church. We're going to confession. Yeah, yeah. But then it stops there. The music starts. All right. And then we're listening to this and like Bruno Mars and like, and what? What's he saying, man? But I'm not accusing these Bruno kids. Mars, but... I'm not accusing. No, no, no. But even those who are listening to it, I'm not accusing them because I was there. Right? I was there. I was the one listening to that. Yeah. And it just seems to be the secular music. I it's mean, just, you don't blame... What it is, is music, it's catchy. Yeah. And like, there's problems in our lives and like, we just want to get away over here, something, oh man, that sounds good, whatever. Yeah. Makes us feel good. Yeah. We listen to it. We don't even realize what they're saying most of the time. Yeah. But then we're singing it. And so that's the problem. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to solve. Okay. But first that's what catchy. I was trying to solve, first what I was trying to solve was me being negative. Right, I'm in my hospital bed, and because first of all, really, I was rapping like everyone else was without the swearing. Yeah. Then this came. God put me in this position. I'm being negative. I'm thinking about myself all the time, and so my family's coming in, and they're being sad because I'm sad. How am I going to turn this around? I got to be happy. I started being happy. My parents are happy. My family's happy. The room starts being positive, and before I know it. I'm back. You know what I mean? I'm there. I'm with God. And my faith is stronger than ever. It's a decision by us. We choose to be sad or we choose to be happy. It's us. We choose. We decide. And if you're going to decide to be upset, then you don't believe in a God that loves us. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You think that God is a God that just wants everything bad to happen to us and just... Like someone said the other day, it's like being in an unhappy marriage. You're, you're, you're in covenant with God, mm -hmm. but it's such a burden in your life. Everything's going wrong. Yeah. And 
Yeah. God's like all Mate, that. That's powerful. Yeah. That's, that's really, really powerful right? what you said there. So you saw the problem in the secular music that we're listening to. And look, nothing, nothing against secular music. You need secular music when we're at parties, birthdays, for the right occasion. And that's why I personally, I, I love the, just the beats. Mm. I love sound music. I don't like the lyrics. Yes, yes. Personally, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I've even gotten into the habit of uh, doing, Andre, and I've gotten into it, mm. is even K-pop music, you know, Korean pop, because I don't, I don't even understand what they're saying. Yeah, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Because I love the beats. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. How good is that? <laughs> I'd like to know what they're yeah, saying. I yeah. might look it up. But, um, uh, but even even points with Aquinas has started, he's got some, I think it's called Lofi music. I don't even know how to pronounce oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he's I got something on that. YouTube. Yeah, it's got like, yeah, and it's just, Background beats. That's it. Yeah, yeah, just background lounge beats. Lounge music. Yeah. You know what I love? I love lounge music. Yeah. You know, if I have friends over, we put on nice lounge music for look you know, dinner. Look it up. Points with Aquinas has got something. I will look yeah, that yeah, up. on YouTube. Definitely. Right? I definitely will. So, so now, you saw the issue there. I saw yeah, the issue. What now my kids want to get involved. Okay. Perfect. Great. Right? Again, it's starting with the family. Yeah. Like so the first family. album I created was called CA3PM. Yeah. Okay? You can find it on Spotify, you can find it on Apple Music, you can find it on um, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to repeat that for our yeah. listeners? C-A or C.A. That's after Catholic Apparel. So right? C-A. Yeah, C-A. So everything I do, if you haven't noticed yet, is for the glory of God. I don't want the name to be about me. I want it to be about pointing back to what we're trying to do, what our mission is. And our yeah. mission is a redirection of streetwear. It's about in a, Jesus, in, a, in a world where they don't want us to talk about Jesus, we'll change that. We'll disrupt that standard one hoodie at a time, one tea at a time. One so anything time. I can do, anything I can do to get that mission going, I will do. I don't want to, like at the end of the day, I don't want to sit there and be a 46, 47 year old dad rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm trying to step into a breach. Again, same thing. Yeah. Okay. So I encourage anyone who has a beautiful voice or has a talent, use it for God to bring back close those who are far. Okay? That's, that's the mission. Use it for God. Bring people back to God with your beautiful voice. Don't use it for the secular world. Trust me, you don't want to go into the secular world. All you're going to encounter is Satan. Yeah. That's it. We want to be in the world, but not of the world. Not of it. Because we are lay people, we're yeah. called to be in the world. But that's what I love about you, Andre, is you're, you're finding the need mm. and you're providing the practical tool yeah. of, of get. it's not a, just about you rapping. You've, you've just started and you're using your gifts and perhaps inspiring others yeah. who have beautiful voices mm -hmm. to actually uh, uh, sing or, or create your own music to, to start a trend, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, but but that that's absolutely fantastic. And and is there anything you want to add to yeah, that? Yeah, I was just going to say. So because of that, right? Yeah. Because of that passion, uh, and um, and this dedication, if got caught on by my family, right? They yeah. loved it, so they yeah. got involved. Like I said, my three kids fight over who's going to be in the song. Hey, Dad, I'm writing this song. I'm like, yeah, let's do it, yeah. right? So the first one, um, the first song my son wrote was "Heaven Is My Goal." Yeah. Like, what? That's so cool. Heaven is my goal. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, heaven is my goal. It takes up all my soul. I'm like, what? That's, that's, man, that's amazing. Wow. Right? And then I kind of helped him finish it off a bit, right? He started that. I'm like, man, like, try saying this. Say, like, Jesus is my king and Mary is my queen. Yeah. Proclaim it to all nations. And I'm like, wow, well, this sounds awesome. Like, let's go, let's go, let's do this. And it just came, and it just came to reality. Yeah. So all yeah. this was just words. Yeah. And then it just came to reality, bit yeah. by bit. Yeah. And it was so cool. And I said, well, since you wrote it, you're singing the chorus. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, you are. You're singing the chorus. Yeah. And so the first album I did was called CA 3 PM. CA 3 PM. Yeah. For those CA 3 PM. 3 PM. The reason why I called it 3 PM. Obviously, it was about divine mercy. 3 okay? p.m. At 3 p.m., Christ died on the cross, and, and he asks us, that's the divine hour, sorry, divine mercy hour. And so you can wow. pray a short prayer. You know, you expire Jesus and the source of life gush forth for souls. And it's just a simple short prayer yeah. at 3 p.m. Yeah. Just pause, just for even 30 seconds. 
right? Sometimes the the sometimes Satan uses our faith against us, mm. right? He'll say, no, 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 um, don't do the three p.m. because you have to pray the whole thing. It's like, no, man, don't listen to him. You can just pray the short bit. Like you're yeah. just taking a moment out to to do it. Anyway, and on the album cover, I created like a cartoon character. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be on a fine. cover, man. Look at my head, seriously, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on a cover. We can, so, always, we can always enhance. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway. Make the beard look thicker. Yeah. So, um, I created a cartoon character. Yeah. And um, I used a clock from a hospital bed. Wow. I was in the hospital bed, right? Wow. And you know how they have the, the, the clocks, the, the, I don't know what you call them, the... I don't either. The analog clocks. Yeah, yeah the, ana the, the analog the, clocks. The, the right? analogs, yeah. yeah. And I literally had a vision and I took a photo of it while I was in the hospital bed. Yeah. And I ended up using that for my album. Wow. Cover. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I took it out and it was right on three o'clock where I took the photo. That's I amazing. I took the photo at three and I said, I know one day I'm going to use that. So, CA 3, 3 p.m. PM. Yeah. Make sure you check it out. Yeah. Download the album CA 3 p.m. Yeah. Okay, Fantastic. and so and so I did that, and then my second album, which is the one that I just released on Easter, Easter Sunday, yeah, um, was it's called Heaven Is My Goal. So wow. because I, I didn't get Heaven Is My Goal on the first album, I had to make it up for my son, to my son. So I said, Dad, you've got the album cover, album name. Okay, so Heaven Is My Goal, and I said, but you have to sing it, right? And so he did. And my daughter, Claudette, mm -hmm. she also rapped on my album. So wow. she rapped. She learned how to rap because of me. Yeah. Fantastic. And so they all kind of know how to rap and sing, but she somehow, she's just got the talent. Yeah. Yeah, she's got it. My son, he's a very, very good singer. He wanted to be in the choir. He can be in the choir. But I said to him, I go, Dad, I want you to sing closer to the altar. I want you to be an altar boy and sing on the altar. Yeah. Yeah. I go, man, anyone can go in the choir and sing, but I want you to be closer to the altar. Yeah. So he, when he robes up, he'll use his beautiful voice to sing, you know, from the side of the altar. Yeah. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know? So anyway, we got it together, and um, I'm not sure whether we've got an opportunity maybe to, to play yeah. Heaven Is My Goal. We you can do, probably so. play it. I don't know if we've got... So Dahlia can yeah. play that for us. Yeah, awesome.
yeah Heaven is my goal, heaven is my goal My daddy told you so Yeah, and if you're gonna stand in my way I guess for you I'll pray Yeah, love to go to religion classes See God better with glasses Yeah, Jesus loves to see our faces In holy places Yeah, we won't stop, can't stop, yo Learning's essential Mate, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. That, that was phenomenal. And I think for those who want to, um, they can go on YouTube. Yeah, so the second album is called CA Heaven Is My Goal. So that's okay. the name of the album. Yeah. It's also the name of one of the songs on there. Um, and I'll go through, there's a few tracks on there. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's absolutely fantastic. I, I love how you've gotten your family involved and, you know, we can hear you in the background. Mm. You know, yeah, it's, 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 it's just, honestly, it's just fun. And again, they get to listen to it. Yeah. And they're listening to songs about our faith. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that means they're not listening to something else. Yeah. You know? And so we're doing our job. Yeah. Whether it's driving, whether it's at home, whatever. Like we, the, the problems that I talk about can range from anything in the household. So it's our job to make sure we're substituting whatever we make clean with something else. Yeah. Because yeah, as they say, you know, um, when, when the devil finds the house nice and clean yeah. and empty, he brings seven more demons. Yeah? Yes. And, and so, so the key is not to stop them from listening to that. Yes, to stop them, but you need to replace it with something else. Yeah. And so as long as we're doing that yeah. and replacing it with something else, then... We're going to remain busy. In, or reasonably, in you know, people may be listening to it, but they may substitute and uh, substitute this kind of music. Mm. Maybe they might continue li listening to some secular music, but if they substitute some of their music yeah. and replace it and reduce it with this kind of beautiful music yeah. that uh, uh, brings our mind and uh, heart and mind to God, elevates us to the supernatural yeah. level, yeah. you've done your job. That's and right. And then eventually, I mean, sometimes even with my own personal music choices, when I'm driving, uh, I might like to listen to a beat music, you know, if, but then I think, oh, well, I'd love to listen to some sacred music, so yep. some Gregorian chant, yes. beautiful music. There's that tug of war, but even I that. know that at least if I'm listening to more sacred music, mm. uh, I'm replacing, you know, most of, it's taken up most yep. of my music now. But one thing, That's, one thing I won't do, I guess just to be clear, is if I usually listen to a rosary in the car, yeah. I, I won't uh, put the music in front of the rosary. Never. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Of course. So the rosary is always first, or whether it's Bible in the year, yeah. whatever it may yeah. be that I'm, that I'm continuing to listen to, or catechism in podcast, the year. Podcast, any other good whatever, podcast. Whatever. I do that first. Yeah, of course. Yeah? And then, like, if I'm on the road for an hour, then I've got 20 minutes or you know, 20 minutes to listen to music Play after music it. to close and it off. And yeah, you know, you feel good and you get out and you're ready for the day, you know? Beautiful. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that's absolutely it. amazing. Yeah, and yeah. so what do you hope to achieve, Andre, out of this? What's, what's, what's some well, practical tools also yeah. that you can give to our listeners? Because well, I know I, you have a vision for, for this music. Yeah. Well, I think it is, again, like I said earlier, is if, you've, if you're blessed with talent, at the end of the day... You, you just have to go to 
uh, different parishes, different Maronite parishes, um, and hear the, some of the beautiful voices that we have in our community. And you just think, wow, you know, that voice can really, you know, change people's hearts. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Use God's talent. Um, and multiply those talents by bringing people closer to God. And so if that means you getting out of your comfort zone, then so be it. Get out of your comfort zone because the greats are good is bringing people closer to God. Okay? And so that you're going to... You're, like, so we're helping God brick by brick. And yeah. so if, if you're, you've got talent in that, then God is telling you to use your talent. Yes, use it in the church, you know, sing in the choir and whatever, but also consider if you feel like you're, you know, you've got spare time on your hands um, and that spare time is getting you into trouble, whatever it may be, you know, it's getting you going on to YouTube to watch shorts or going on Instagram and you're just flicking through things tirelessly, whatever it may be, if you find yourself in that situation, then use your talent to fix that situation, whichever way it may be, all right, and bring them closer to God. So that means, in in terms of practical tools, writing things. Okay. Yeah. So if something one, which inspires you, write it down. Get a notebook, write it down, and then build it piece by piece, brick by brick. Okay, and build it up into something, and then keep referring back to it, refine it, get it better. Okay, and then essentially what you're doing is it's almost like writing a book, creating a movie, um, creating a hoodie, whatever it may be. It's You've got something in your art. mind yeah. and you're bringing it to life. Yeah. yeah. Okay? You're not just keeping it to yourself. Okay. And when it comes to life, then that can inspire other people. Mm -hmm. That's it at the end of the day. And it's not that hard to do it. If I manage to do it, anyone can do it. Yeah. And that's fantastic. I think you really, really hit the, na um, the hammer on the nail where you said uh, write it down and internalize it. Mm -hmm. You really are, are trying to get us to I internalize If somebody has a beautiful song, they have a beautiful voice and, and something is brewing in your heart and soul for a beautiful, uh, uh, yeah. w with a beautiful lyric mm. or, or something that you've written down or a reflection that you've had, internalize it, pray about it, maybe yeah. take it to prayer. Yeah. And then use the gift of your voice mm -hmm. to then, I mean, and naturally as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bring it out through your voice. Yeah. And, and do it naturally and, and after the, internalizing. Exactly. And the other thing as well is like, for example, I wrote a song about St. Charbel, right? I called it The St. Charbel. I love that one. I did. Yeah. yeah. St. Charbel. Do you want to sing a little bit? Yeah. Help do, us reach your mountainous heights. Call to bear fruit from early on as a noble cedar of Lebanon. Before God, a man you grew in wisdom and years. At 23, you left your mother in tears. tears. Right? So it goes on and on, right? Yeah, yeah. But for me to write that, I literally had to research his life. So I'm sitting here and I can't wait to find out where was he born, what age did he leave to go to the monastery, and you're finding out the story of St. Charbel in that process. And that song you could be writing about could be about your favorite saint, could be about a certain moment in your life. It is using that for the glory of God. And so in the process, you're learning about what your subject matter is. So that's that's fantastic. just so cool. That's really uh, yeah. encompasses what art is. Yes. It's a really an art. That's right. You, you know, you might have been at St. Charbel's in Punchbowl and you walk past the statue and thought, oh, St. Charbel, and then a rap comes into your head. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so That's now right. you're forced to read about St. Yeah. Charbel. Yeah. You have to find out about him, then yeah. you come up with a few key words, and then yeah. you pray about it, you internalize it, and exactly. hey, a song came out. Exactly right. Yeah, no. It's but, it awesome. can but it's funny, the endless possibilities, this can happen in so many different contexts. You might be at work, uh, uh, something comes up, you know. In, 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 you know, that's let, right. I think your wife uh, said it very well. You know, get it out of your system. <laughs> that's and right. I think we can embody that in one of the practical tools. Get it out of your system. So the first step is write it down, write it, internalize it, and then maybe and then eventually get it out of your system. Sing it. You know, embody Research. it. Research. Get to know it. You know, and bring it to life is the last one. Bring it to life, because at the end of the day, you are special. Every single one of us is special in our own way. And so that whatever you do, whatever you produce, whatever you bring to life 
it is yours and no one else can take it, you know? So it's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to have you. And uh, for those who don't know, go to the um, Catholic Apparel dot com dot au that is catholic right. apparel dot com dot au to check out you know the beautiful hoodies t shirts even children's uh, clothes you know and mm-hmm. I've uh, we've always recommended you know even for children's clothes the beautiful things that are put there for children to wear uh, hoodies caps mm. um, and our winter's coming up. Uh, Correct. Do, do you have any? Yeah, yeah, we do. Thing coming up. We do. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got to get things. myself a Saint George. T-shirt Actually, it's, yeah. it's St. George Feast soon as well. Yeah. So this weekend. My feast day. Yeah. Well, there you go, Georgie. <laughs> All the best, So, so definitely check out catholicapparel.com.au. It's, uh, uh, definitely check them out and even go visit the store in Belfield. Uh, you can go there. They have a pop-up store there. Not just a pop-up store. It's, it's a, a, it's a permanent store. store. Yeah. And you have pop-up stores all over Sydney. And uh, can you please run through your two albums so people can find us? Yeah, again, so CA 3 p.m. Yep. And CA Heaven is My Goal. So CA 3 p.m. and um, yep. CA Heaven so is My Goal. So the letter C and the letter A together, literally just CA and then, yeah. Two beautiful albums. Thank you. Check it out. Thank you. So thank you for tuning into the Catholic Toolbox. Don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. And go to thecatholictoolboxshow.com. That is thecatholictoolboxshow.com. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the podcast, wherever you get your podcasts, on all platforms. Thank you for tuning in. May God bless you. Until next week, God bless, take care, and take action. In this era of grave spiritual crisis, it is not enough to simply know about your Catholic faith. That is why we need a Catholic toolbox to equip us with the practical skills necessary to live our Catholic faith to reach our ultimate goal, which is heaven for all eternity. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Join us every Tuesday night at 8pm for the Catholic Toolbox as we hand you the tools to go forth, live the faith and change our modern world today. Live on The Voice of Charity.